Welcome, everybody, to a raucous Dodger Stadium for a crucial Game 2 of this 2022 National League Division Series between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Awesome atmosphere on a beautiful night here on the West Coast over the last month of the regular season against left-handers. Ha Sung Kim was typically in the leadoff spot. They kept Jerks and Pofar there against a lefty yesterday to keep some continuity from the wild card series. You talked about it, AJ. Clayton Kershaw gets the start tonight with a chance to go up 2-0 against a team that for the most part in his career he has dominated. On the ground, torch short to his left. Nice snare by Trey Turner. Good pick by Freeman in time for out number one. One in the first inning of that opener. And Soto swings and sends one a pretty deep right center field, but playable. Angling over his Bellinger in front of the track. Two away. The 2-1. Machado rips it down the left field line towards the corner. And Manny Machado has given the Padres the early lead in the first. Just what the doctor ordered there, Adam. Just talked about them getting the lead. We just talked about the success and the home runs he's hit. We also talked about Kershaw in, getting in. He doesn't get this one in, and Manny Machado, that was a rocket. Kershaw trying to finish off this inning with limited damage. A 3-2 to Drury. Called strike three. Mookie Betts, Trey Turner, Freddie Freeman, that excellent trio. It's the same order and lineup from game one for Dave Roberts and the Dodgers, the number one scoring offense in baseball this year. His, ER, his record isn't very good, but his ERA, his whip, all the numbers are, are outstanding for you, Darvish. That means his team isn't scoring any runs for him. Who takes a close one for called strike three. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Hard hit ball towards third, and Machado is right there. Just even watching it on TV, let alone having to stand in the box and do it. And Freeman sends one to deep center field. Racing back is Grisham. At the track, at the wall, he leaps, and it is gone to tie the game. Another first inning home run in this series. It's one to one. Smith goes after the first pitch yet again. Each of the last three hitters did that. There for the out is Kim. 2 1, 3 1. Freddie hits the home run on 3 1. Good job here by Myers to go the other way on a breaking ball. Bangs it into right field for the second Padre hit. He's aboard with one away pitch between the two teams. Hard hit ball towards center field. That's going to dump down for a base hit. Myers cruises into second. Back to back singles with one out for San Diego in the second. Well, that one bounces away from Smith. That's an awkward bounce. He didn't know where it had gone. Freeman had begun to come in from first base to try to help Smith out. And both runners, Myers and Profar, advance 90 feet. And it's two men in scoring position. Mixed it up. Sure enough. And a strikeout. And now Kershaw takes the lead all time in postseason strikeouts over Verlander. Number 209. Struck him out. He drills it to right field. In with Soto. Now back to the track. Looks up. It's gone. Max Muncy goes yard in the postseason. And the Dodgers have taken the lead. It changes the complexion of the at bat. Golf down the right field line. In on it is Soto. And that's going to drop down in front for a base hit. Justin Turner is aboard. 1-2. Out front, Lux. He was guessing on it. Still was a little bit out in front. Struck him out. There's 95 now. So you saw 79 and 95. And he does with a fastball. Three straight strikeouts on the fastball to close the inning. Payoff pitch coming to Kim. And another tapper up the line at third. Charging in is Muncie, and he cannot make the play. 
Kim gets aboard to start the top of the third. Swings at the first pitch and punches it into right field. Kim trying to go first to third, but a good job by Mookie Betts to get to that ball fast, preventing Kim from trying to take third base. Rounded towards third, it's past the diving Muncie. Kim will score to tie the game, a carom off the sidewall. Soto will cruise in the third. It's an RBI double for Machado, and it's 2-2 two to two in the third with nobody out. Waves through and misses. Kershaw gets Drury. It's bounced to the right side. Freeman backhands it. That will score a run to give the Padres the lead. Soto comes across, and it's 3-2. And Cronenworth dug in, battled, and drives in the go-ahead run. First pitch swinging. Myers deep to right. Betts racing back to the running track for out number three. But the Padres add two in what has been a back-and-forth game two so far in Los Angeles. Three to two, San Diego. Betts off the end of the bat. Cronenworth back. Four out, number one. Now he's back out there against the top of the order. He's... Turner rips one to deep left field. He's done it again. And this one ties the game yet again. Back and forth we go. One to the Dodger catcher who pops it up. Nola all the way back near the netting. He makes the catch. That'll end the inning. With a wild card set against St. Louis. Oh, that one was way out in front of home plate. And Profar just went flailing at it. It's almost as if he had committed to swing on an 0-2 pitch. Kershaw spiked it and ends up being a strikeout. Another strikeout for Kershaw, back to back to start this fourth inning. He's done plenty of that in his career. And Muncy sends her to center field. Grisham is frozen, now moving back to the track for out number one. And Darvish was as reliable as any in terms of giving length. But it will not be a 1 2 3 inning. It's a four pitch walk to Justin Turner. Rips it to right field. Soto over. That will drop. Soto was on that Nationals team. And beat the Dodgers. Lux is aboard with a single. Two on and one out. A one two. Swung on and missed. Breaking ball tailing away from Thompson, and there are two away. Second time he's gotten Thompson on strikes. Way down and missed. There's that Ephus style pitch at 69 to leave two men stranded. Kim. Hard ground ball towards third. Chested down by Muncie, and he makes the play. Four out number one. Payoff pitch to Soto. Hard hit into the shift. Gavin Lux is there for out number two. Goes the other way, but Freeman is there. Nine in a row sent down by Clayton Kershaw as we at the halfway point in game two. Payoff delivery to Betts from Darvish. And he lost it. A leadoff walk. Now you know the running game. Here we go. Betts goes. It's a strike. Throw down to second base. In time! On target throw from Austin Nola. And a great tag put down as well to retire Betts. First time the Padres cut down the Dodgers on the base pass trying to steal this year. Oh, man, that is as close as it gets. Does he touch him initially when he puts the glove? Right there, does he touch him? That's the question. Now, again, the call on the field is out, so that's the baseline for any consideration from here on out looking at the review. That is so close. After review, the call on the field stands. The runner is out. Yes, that, it, it's so hard to overturn that. But that throw was the, that's the only place you can throw it to try to get Mookie Betts and Nola cut him down. Hard hit towards third. Machado somehow has it. What a play. 
His sparkling defense continues, and there are two away in the fifth. Nolan Machado, two huge plays here in the fifth inning. Freeman in the air to center. That should retire the side. Lead off walk to Betts. The outstanding throw by Nola, the tag by Cronenworth. Turner retired by sparkling defense from Machado. Getting by Padres. First pitch swinging. Brandon Drury out to center field, and he greets Bruce Dark Gratterall rudely. The go ahead run is on base against the Dodger bullpen. Tapper to first base. Freeman's got it. Wheels at the second. Relay to first, and Cronenworth uses his speed to beat it out. With Gratterall covering to Oda Myers. Ground ball towards short. Turner. Oh, Turner. He was trying to line up that force out to second or at least get one on a slow roller, but that's going to end up being an error on Trey Turner. Bouncing ball right side. That's through. Profar delivers as Grisham is on his way home. Betts is going to come up throwing, and it's cut off. The Padres take the lead, and Profar, his fifth RBI of the postseason, and it's 4-3 to three, San Diego in the sixth. Myers ends up at third, and a bunt put down by Grisham. What a play by Gratterall. He gets the out at home. What a play by the Dodger pitcher for the second out of the sixth. Do you love defense? You're in the right spot in game two. And now trying to finish off this inning with limited damage done. 0-2 to Nola. Hard hit to center field, ranging back Bellinger, twisting around, makes the catch! I ask you again, do you like defense? Because these two teams are putting on a clinic. The Padres get the go-ahead run, but nothing more as Bellinger, the gold lover, makes the play. Smith, a roper up the middle, and Cronenworth has to knock it down. He couldn't make the play there. Smith with a shot up the middle, and the tying run is on base in the sixth. In the air to right, Soto along the track, reaches up, and it's off the base of the wall. A high bounce played by Soto. That'll allow Smith to get in the third. Muncy's got a single, and the go-ahead run is on base for the Dodgers in the sixth with nobody out. Suarez has arguably been the best reliever this year for the San Diego Padres. He was great in the wild card series. He's been great as of late. Two on, nobody out in the sixth. Then a 2-2 pitch. is swung on and missed. Suarez at 101 gets a crucial first out in the sixth inning. Lux will swing away. Bounce to second. Cronenworth to Kim to first. In time. Double play. And the Padres remain in front as Suarez gets them out of the jam. What a season for Yancy Almonte. Just another great piece in this Dodger bullpen. And Almonte comes all the way back from down 3-0 to get the swinging strike out of Kim. Swing and a miss. A fastball gets him. Thompson in the air. To right for Soto. A one two to Bellinger. Reaches out, pokes it over a leaping Machado for a base hit. And the tying run is aboard. Bellinger just served that perfectly the other way. And that's the first hit since Sunday against the Padre bullpen. Betts rips one towards left center field. Grisham on the move. Can't make the catch. There goes Bellinger. Picked up by and the time run is 90 feet away. Betts is in scoring position. one -oh. On the ground to third. Machado sucks it up. Looks Bellinger back. Rips to first. They have to step on the bag to get the force finally as Turner tried to avoid the tag. 
And now two down. This has got to be a walk. It's a walk. Yeah, they're going to intentionally Freeman. walk Freddie Freeman. I told you earlier, Trey Turner's tried it three times. Don't hit it to Manny Machado. Yep, two and two on Smith. In the air, center field. And Grisham will secure this one and keep the Padres in front. Suarez with the magic act in game two. He was their best reliever last year, a sub two ERA in 72 innings, but in the air to right. Mookie Betts turns around and watches that go for Cronenworth. And the Padres extend the lead in the eighth. It's five to three. First baseman Will Myers. Way down and missed. Good pitch by Trinan. Payoff pitch to Profar. And it's ball four. Jose Zokar will check in. At first base, he's the pinch runner for Profar. Runner goes. Inside. And he is in there safely. Playoff debut, first stolen base for Azokar, and now another insurance run is in scoring position for the Padres. Good throw by Will Smith, just no chance. Blake trying in high leg kick, now they're going to walk Grisham. They're like, what well, did Ground ball from Nola, too short. Turner, oh, he tried to get the out at second base, and he's beaten up by Grisham. Oh, Trey Turner. A second miscue on the night at short. Off the fist, popped up. Trinan will get out of the jam, leave him loaded. But Jake Cronenworth in the air. Cronenworth out. Grisham in. And it's Grisham. One away. A chance to really explore it. Thinking heavily about Jackie and his legacy and knew that this was going to be a project he was proud of. There's a bird down there in center field, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, duck. We, needed, we, we thought we saw everything in the game, and now a new friend wants to join our party. Hello, friend. Oh, do we go? Does, does John Chapin go, go get it? Sounds like I don't want to necessarily bother our feathered friend here. Ducks are very aggressive. I don't know if you know that. I don't. They're very aggressive. Is, that, is, that, is it a duck, right? Is that a goose? I mean, you know, it might be a goose, actually. Like, I'm not 100% sure. Ed Speed, our statistician, wrote on a piece of paper, the crowd is going quackers. They're going <laughs> quackers. Line drive into right field. That's down for a base hit. Gavin Lux is aboard. And the tying run will come to the plate. <laughs> Sorry. I know this is an intense playoff game. We're having a blast calling it, but I cannot help but laugh at this moment. <laughs> in early September, he started to lock in a little bit more. Did not give up an earned run in his last 10 regular season games. Ball four, and the time run is on base for Los Angeles. So Dave Roberts will deploy Austin Barnes to come out. Barnes has seen Hader six times. He's just one for six against him, but he's flipping the script and bringing a righty in. In the air to center field. Grisham is back. It is playable. And the Padre bullpen with another spotless inning in this series without a run across. To the ninth we go in game two. 13 appearances for Canely, sub three ERA this season. Soto, check. Check the third. He went around according to Lance Barksdale, and it's a three-pitch strikeout of Soto to start the night. Since back-to-back strikeouts of Soto and Machado by Canely, and they're two away in the night. Swing and a miss. Canely strikes out the side to send us to the bottom of the ninth inning. Top of the Dodgers order. Betts, Turner, and Freeman, and it looks like it's Hayter coming out. A one. Betts flies it out towards shallow left. Backing is Kim. All the way in is a Zokar, and the rookie has it for out number one. 2-2. Two -two. 
Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two away in the ninth. And the Padres are one out away from a 1-1 series. Who hits it deep to right field. Back towards the wall. He's off the top of the wall. Freddie Freeman into second base. And the tying run will come to the plate for the Dodgers against Hayter in the ninth. In the air to right. Soto is there. And this series is even at a game apiece. The San Diego Padres tie up this National League Division Series with a nail-biting, exciting, tension-filled, heart-racing 5-3 win in Los Angeles.